hello and welcome to another lesson with the GeForce IT Service Academy. This is the lesson 19 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word. So in our previous lesson, we dealt with how to design or how to create the student data entry form without any stress and without any problem. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to design or how to create the teacher's data entry user form so if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell for all like and share this video with your friends and family members to also benefit from so without wasting much time let's just dive into this lesson so let's just open the form like this this is the teacher's detail form so when you open the form let's go to developer tab then let's go to visual basic when we come to the visual basic let's go to insert then we select user form good so let's just try to uh, expand this to fit well onto uh, the form here okay so let's expand it because this one is going to contain so many labels it's going to contain about 23 labels here okay so this toolbox is what is going to help us to insert our labels and the test boxes and other things that we need in this lesson so let's just go and select a frame so this is the frame so just tap on it then let's draw a frame here let's just have our frame here inside the form like this okay so we need two frames to use on this particular form we need another one for the for the database itself so we go for another frame here like this then you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end like this i think this is cool Please do it well so that we have some space at the down for the buttons that we'll be using in this lesson. Okay, so I think that space there is enough for the buttons. Okay, so let's try to expand this one a little bit so that the labels can have enough space there. Okay, I think this is cool. Okay, so let's just come to the labels here let's just begin to insert our labels so right from here you left click and hold then drag it to that side so the action is ctrl c ctrl v to paste ctrl c then ctrl v to paste okay so let's just begin to add our labels to this particular form like this i think we should bring this one down a little bit okay so we come for another label we position it there nicely please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end don't skip any part because if you skip it you may not be able to understand this lesson well okay so we have our labels there so how many do we have now one two three four five six seven one more to go so we bring it to the down here like this okay so we have eight labels here we need another eight sets of labels here so let's control c to copy control v to paste good so let's just begin to insert our labels here as well so we place the first one here like this then we go for another one we place it here like this another one place it there like that let's just try to drag that one let's just try to drag it to the top a little bit then we come for another one we place it here like this we come for another one place it here like this come for this one to place it here like this nicely then we go for another one place it there like this so we have we have seven labels here now so we need one more okay 
so we have the if label here like this now we need extra seven labels to get the number that we want so control c to copy control v to paste so let's just add the the other labels there let's just add these labels to then we move to the next thing so we have number two there number three here number four here then we need number five six and seven so number five here then number six here then sorry the last one number seven here good so we have our seven labels here okay so let's just select all like this let's select all like this then you press and hold control on the keyboard then we select these ones too then we press and hold control on the keyboard then we select this one too so let's see if we can do some adjustment on the labels a little bit okay so we have them there now let's right click on the labels like this let's go to properties then let's go to special effect can we see the special effect here yes so let's try to expand this box a little bit so the special effect let's change it to raised let's change it to raised good so we have this special effect for our labels so let's try to run this and let's see how it will appear good i think our user form is taking some nice shape now so let's just close this and go back let's just go back to the user form again good so now let's just try to change the names of these uh, labels here we need to change all the names of these labels here so you click on the first one like this then we go to caption then we change it to id that is id then we hit enter then we come to the second one then we change it to name so let's go to the caption here we change it to name like this you hit enter then we come to the next one we change it to gender so you go to the caption here like this then gender like that so we move to the next one then we change it to sorry then we change it to date of birth so dob the caption we change it to d o b like that then we move to the next one we change it to staff id you change the next one to staff id so let's just select all then staff id then we move to the next one then that one is going to be registered number so let's go to the caption then registered number then we move to the next one that is going to be the date of first appointment so let's select all this like this then d o then first app appointment we need to short those things let's write the short forms of those things so that they can have enough space on the on the label they can have a place on the label okay let's move to the next one that is going to be the senate number so ssf number social security uh, trust fund number so we have that one today then we move to the next one that is going to be designation so designation like that let's go to the caption here designation then we move to the next one that is going to be academic qualification so we come to the caption here again acc qualification
like that then we move to the next one that is going to be professional qualification so let's go to the caption here let's select all then we go professional qualification like that then we move to the next one that is going to be the rank so we go to the caption here then rank like that we move to the next one that is going to be the year of promotion so the year of promotion so let's go to the caption here select all then year of promotion okay so we move to the next one that is going to be the telephone number the telephone number so that is going to be your phone number or the telephone number of the teacher so phone number sorry like that so phone number then we move to the next one that is going to be the bank so bank let's go to the caption then bank like that then you hit enter on your computer keyboard then the next thing is going to be account number so let's go to caption again account number so account number like that good okay let's change this one to email address sorry let's change this one to email address so let's go back to the caption let's go to the caption so email then you hit enter then we come to this one bank sorry so we come to this one we go to the caption here to clear everything then we come to bank good so you hit enter then we come to this one then account number account number like this then we move to the next one gross salary gross salary so gross salary like that then we move to the next one that is going to be the net salary so net salary like that and we move to the next one that is going to be the hometown the hometown of the teacher so hometown like that then we move to the next one that is going to be the next of kin so let's come to the label here sorry the caption here next of kin like that then we move to the next one that is going to be the relationship the relationship between the next of kin and the teacher so relation like this then you hit enter then the last thing that is going to be the contact of the next of kin the telephone number of the next of kin so contact like this so we have all the labels here up and running all right so now the next thing that we are going to do is to begin to add our various test boxes and the various combo boxes to this particular uh, form so let's come to this side here test box so the id will need a test box so let's draw our first test box here like this i think this is cool then the name so let's control c to copy the test box one and use it as test box two here for the names then the gender we need the option buttons the gender we need the option buttons because we don't want this video to be long we don't want these tutorials to be long we like to end this one here and continue in lesson 20 so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you share this video with your friends and family members to also benefit from so let's meet in lesson 20 thank you very much for watching bye bye